Greetings, uh, this is the 16th Baz tutorial. Today I am going to talk about um, uh, or show you some stuff with FFT panning. Uh, FFT meaning Fast Fourier Transform, which of course none of us really know enough about um, to speak with authority. I wish somebody would speak with authority on this. Uh, anyway, a large part of what I'm going to talk about is sort of ripping off this article here, which is by um, my ex-teacher. I'm not sure if he wants me to admit that here publicly or not. Anyway, um, techniques for multi-channel real-time spatial distribution using frequency domain processing by R Ryan Torchia, Torquia and um, Court Lippi. I'm not really going to follow what they're saying in there because, for one thing, I can't really read, and for another thing, um, I can't read. So, I'm going to first off uh, make kind of a um, um, uh, a visual uh, representation of what it is I want using a multi slider to display uh, basically the 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 left-right panning and the spectrum from low to high. If you don't already know that much about an FFT, um, FFT processing basically turns um, audio from what would be called time domain, which means that we can represent um, uh, represent sound as a function of time, and turns it into frequency domain, which means we can represent uh, sound in terms of frequency content. Anyway, I'm going to make a multi-slider to start with. Uh, multi sliders look like that. Okay, so it's kind of like a cityscape in 2D multi slider. Um, by default, it has no hardly any of the characteristics we want. So I'm going to pull. I'm going to right click. And if you don't have a if you don't have a right mouse button, then you'd probably want to get a mouse with a right right button. Um, you can control. I guess is the is the way to do it if you don't have a right mouse button. Alright, Inspector. Enough of that. Inspector, uh, one thing I want to have it is, I want it to be horizontal, so my orientation is horizontal. That's because I want the um, frequency, well, yes, my frequency is going to be along um, the, 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 horiz the vertical, I don't know. I want it to be horizontal anyway, that's all I know. Um, Number of sliders, I'm going to ha have 1024, I'm going to have 1024 sliders, and for a range, I'm going to make my range 0 to 1, and I think that's all I need to change here. Alright, yes, horizontal orientation, uh, 1024 sliders, and a range of 0 to 1, perfect. Alright, um, and we can change the size of this so we can get some idea. Okay, so what I'm going to be representing here is this should be the high um, frequencies. I'll just lock this patch or draw some shapes in here. This should be high frequency at the top of the, the uh, multi sliders. The low frequencies should be at the bottom here. Left should be over here through the, um, from the, on, the, on the left of all places and right panning. So we're going to have left, right panning and high, low pitch represented by these multi-sliders. First thing we want to do is to stick the, this um, bunch of slider values into a, into a buffer. So let's make a buffer to start with. We'll make a buffer with some random name. I'm going to use the name Funbag. I don't know where that came from. I can give it some duration. Um, 200 milliseconds is more than enough for our purposes. All right, the first thing I want to do in terms of getting this uh, multi-slider action into a buffer, we're going to use an object called peak, so I'll make a new object, peak with a tilde on the end, um, and we'll put the name of the buffer that we're going to peak those sample values into. If 
if you had a quick look at Peak, you would see the help for Peak, you would see you can write a, put a list in there which is going to be an index and a value to write at that index. Very good. Alright, so I'm going to make a list of um, index and a value to write into the index. Uh, if you don't already know, um, the sort of default way that multi-slider works is that when you um, press or release the mouse, you get the list of all of the multi-slider values. So we need to, first thing, probably new object, we want to iter, so we want to iterate those values out. Iter, if you don't already know, is uh, an object which just takes a list and completely, um, well, just iter iterates it out, um, meaning to say it breaks it out into into individual values. All right, and to create my uh, index values, I'm going to use a counter, which I'm going to want to count down, which is the first argument in counter. Count down because the ultim um, the normal way for this uh, um, multi slider action to come out is from uh, which way is from so from the from this value up here would be the first value in the list and this would be the last value in the list and I actually want that to be the other way around so to invert that list I'm going to start my use my counter counting down and the range of the counter is 0 to 1023 which will poke in, I mean which will stick all my um, 1024 slider values in uh, a few more things here. First, we need to have every time we get a value iterated out, we want to bang the counter. So we'll make a new object, the trigger object with the bang and an F. So trigger bang float. Uh, so we're going to bang my counter. And then we're going to need to use a pack. So a new object down here with pack uh, zero and a floating point zero. Yeah. Great. All right. So. Uh, let's just, I'll just make this look a little neater by dragging those out before connecting them. Alright, so now we're going to have a list of what? A slider value um, and an index being poked or peaked, sorry, into a fun bag. We can verify that this kind of works. I locked my patcher already. I'll draw some shape in here and, okay, um, yeah, this should be the bottom end of see the way now this is working is that this is kind of representing the bottom end of my um, uh, yeah, yeah, buffer here and there's the top end of my buffer obviously I didn't need 200 milliseconds but I guess uh, 1024 samples is only what 20 milliseconds I don't know there's some maths involved in that one all right so I'm going to now create my FFT my PFFT thing which was, is going to access these and turn them into panning values.